Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is on a couple of questions, uh, problem solving to do with proportion. So let's get started. Right, so it says uh, four people can dig a trench in three hours. Um, how long would it take nine people? And give your answer in minutes. So let's have a go at this question. So we have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle. And we will have four little squares in that rectangle. That represents the work done in three hours. Now four people have done it, so each person is doing one-fourth of the work. So if one person was to do it, they would take four times three, which is twelve hours. Now, uh, if one person is going to take twelve hours for nine people, well, they're gonna you're gonna have a box of nine people now, a rectangle with nine people. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe that's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So each person is going to be doing one ninth of the work. Okay, though, so we will do 12 hours. So the answer it wants it in minutes. So twelve times sixty is seven hundred and twenty minutes. And we're gonna do seven hundred and twenty divided by nine, which is eighty minutes. Okay, let's have a look. It says two people can paint a fence in one hour. How long should it take ten people? Right. So again I'm gonna draw a rectangle. And you have two people. So they take one hour, but each person is doing half of the work. So one person would take twice as long, so two times one hour, which is two hours. Now you have ten people. So you split in that two hours work within ten people. I think that's ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10 yeah okay so that two hours work 
again it wants the answer in minutes so I'm going to change the two hours into minutes so multiply by 60 that's 120 minutes I'm going to split it into 10 parts so 120 divided by 10 that's 12 minutes it's a bit quick but there we go and we've got another question now um, so those of you watching I would suggest you try this question yourself I'll pause in the video uh, and then uh, have a look at what solution you get so four people can trim a hedge in one hour so again I'll draw a rectangle with four boxes or squares inside one two three four so that's an hour long but each person is doing a quarter of the work so one person would take four times as long which is four hours Uh, 4 hours is 4 times 60 which is 240 minutes how long would it take 3 people so three people my box is not great this time but Okay, each person is going to do one third of the work, so we're going to divide the 240 by 3, which is 80 minutes. Is there another one, or is this free? So, an assault question. Okay, I've got one, a couple of questions on um, maps and scales and so on scale on a map is stated as 1 to 200,000 so what this is saying is 1 okay in centimeters so this ratio is saying 1 centimeter on the map is 200,000 centimeters in real life okay a main road connects two towns which are 28 kilometers apart so 28 kilometers let's convert that into meters first so kilometers and meters right so whenever we're converting between units whenever you're going from the larger one to the smaller one you multiply by the conversion and if you're going from the smaller one to the larger one you divide by the conversion but we're going from kilometers to meters so that's 28 times 1000 which is 28,000 meters and then from meters to centimeters you do 28,000 meters is equal to 28,000 divided by 100 so again meters to centimeters if you're going from meters to centimeters you multiply by 100 the other way you divide by 100 so going from meters to centimeters so multiply Two, three, four, five. Two, three. Okay. So, two point eight or two million eight hundred thousand centimeters is the distance in real life. How far will it be on the map? 
so we have to divide this distance of two who two million eight hundred thousand by two hundred thousand oops So that's the same as 28 divided by 2 and that'll be 14 centimeters apart that's how you could solve this question don't know do I have another one let's have a look yes scale on a map is stated as 1 to 250,000 again this means 1 centimeter on the map is 250 thousand centimeters in real life that's a long distance two villages are nine centimeters apart okay so nine centimeters on the map we nine times two hundred and fifty thousand centimeters in real life let's do the multiplication times 9 1 2 3 4 zero. So 9 times 0 9 times 5 is 45 carry the 4 over 9 times 2 is 18 22 1 2 3 so it's 2.25 cent 2 million 250 thousand centimeters apart in real life and then uh, to, let's convert this into meters so we do 2,250,000 divided by 100 because we're going from uh, if you go from meters to centimeters you're going from the larger unit to the lo smaller one so you multiply by 100 if you're going from centimeters to meters, you're going from the smaller one to the larger one. So you divide by 100. So I'm dividing by 100. So you are left with 22500. Zero, zero. So 22,500 meters. And then we're going to convert this into kilometers. So kilometers to meters. If I'm going this way. Let's multiply by 1,000. The other way divide by a thousand so twenty two thousand five hundred divided by a thousand twenty two point five kilometers that's this one solved as well I think this should be it maybe no do I want more yep this was the previous video so this is the last question the scale on a map is stated as one to hundred thousand so one centimeter on uh, the map is one hundred thousand centimeters in real life So she's saying distance is 8 centimeters, so that's 8 times 100,000, which is 800,000 centimeters. We're going to convert this to meters and then to kilometers. So meters to centimeters is times 100, but we're going the other way, so we're going to divide by 100. So 800 thousand divided by hundred is eight thousand meters Whoa. and eight thousand meters is equal to we're going from kilometers to meters I don't know what's happening with my ends today 
in a bit of a rush multiply by a thousand but I'm going the other way meters to kilometers I divide by a thousand so that's eight thousand divided by one thousand which is eight kilometers so how many kilometers is to your destination eight kilometers okay so those were a couple of videos which are sorry those are a couple of questions on this video and uh, hopefully this helps thank you for watching assalamu